Now, Lucy, there's one thing that struck me in the King's speech. It wasn't the long list of policies that will no doubt damage our economy. It wasn't the vague promises that will not survive contact with reality. No, Madam Deputy Speaker, for me, the thing that was conspicuous by its absence was the total failure of the Labour government to deal with child poverty and scrap the two-child benefit cap on welfare. Yes, you heard that right. And it's clear to me from my work with vulnerable families in Fareham that the cap isn't working. It's pushing more children and families <coughs> into relative poverty. It's causing them to use more food banks. And there are three big reasons why we can support this as Conservatives. First of all, it's affordable. For about £1.7 billion, i.e. 0.14% of total government spending, we could quickly bring about 300,000 children out of poverty. As I say, with the improved situation, I believe that is the fair and right thing to do. Secondly, the reason why it was introduced in the first place, i.e. to disincentivise poorer families from having more children, has not necessarily worked. The number of children born has remained relatively stable. And as the Joseph Roundtree Foundation found heartbreakingly, 43% of those children in larger families are finding themselves in poverty. The children hardest hit are those under four, and it's affecting predominantly younger children and those in large families. I believe this cap is aggravating child poverty, and it's time for it to go. Now, I know about the argument, don't have children if you can't afford them. For me, that's not compassionate, it's not fair, it's not the right thing to do. And lastly, we should, as Conservatives, be proudly and loudly the, family, the party of family. For those families on lower incomes, we should encourage families to have more children. At those families on middle incomes and higher incomes, we should change our tax regime so that they are incentivised to have children. We have better parental leave policies, better childcare provision policies, and better maternity care. I believe I'm a Conservative because I believe in the strength and the sovereignty of the family unit. We should be supporting it, not suppressing it. This is not about right or left. This is about right or wrong. Let's come together in a spirit of compassion and common sense to scrap the caste and end child poverty.